Hey movie junkies, welcome back to Twin Flicks, where we are always celebrating the magic of movies with you. So today I received a screener from Will Go USA. It's a movie that's out theatrically now, limited release. Uh, the film stars Donnie Yen, and it's a great film. If you haven't heard about this movie, stay tuned because we're going to be talking about Raging Fire. <laughs> Raging Fire stars Donnie Yen, who is a highly respected hardline cop with a long history of success. But his past unexpectedly comes back to haunt him when a sting operation is hijacked by a team of masked criminals led by Yen's former protege, who used to love being a police officer, but a mistake three years prior landed him in prison, quickly turning him against the police force with a hard grudge. Now he sets out on a path of revenge against everyone who had wronged him, including his former mentor. Raging Fire is a perfect title for this action-packed, revenge-filled film, and is also producer-director Benny Chan's last film before his passing in August of 2020. Donnie Yen continues to prove himself not just an action star, but also a dramatic actor, and combining these two attributes gives a very attractive and intriguing screen presence that keeps you glued to the screen. The direction from Benny Chan is also terrific. It's beautifully shot with some amazing action scenes, car chases, hand-to-hand -hand combat, you name it, this movie has it. There's one scene in particular at the beginning of the film that has a 360 degree shot of a criminal gang attacking another gang in gunfire and it's, it's just explosive. Now I've been a huge fan of Asian action films since I can remember. And it's common that they carry a theme of blurring the lines between good and evil, uh, between police and the villain. And this is absolutely no exception, especially with the villain. Actor Nicholas C. does something special. He doesn't just play a violent criminal. Instead, he is very sympathetic. As we learn about his past, that he was sent to prison for self-defense murder and feels betrayed and really was betrayed and wronged by the police force, those who swore to protect him. And because of this, we feel for him. We understand where he's coming from, why he has this violent grudge against him. However, on the other side of the coin, he's also a ruthless, violent criminal that will kill anyone, any cop who gets in his way in some pretty violent ways. While Donnie Yen is a religious man who is torn between what is justice and also the guilt from that justice. And I really think this creates a unusually deeper movie than just balls to the wall action, which it has plenty of. The stunts and action scenes are absolutely amazing. I was floored by some scenes. Donnie Yen is full throttle as he fights his way through a group of criminals out to kill him. The scene kind of reminded me of the hallway scene from Old Boy. And the climax of the movie is just brilliantly choreographed with uh, a, a street shootout to a knife fight to hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it is brutal and sensational fight choreography, blending it all together to create an exciting film that keeps you intrigued and engaged from beginning to end. If there was really only one complaint uh, about, about the movie, I would have to say some of the scenes, the dramatic scenes, felt soap opera-ish with the music and some of the flashbacks they had. It just, uh, it, I kind of chuckled at some of it because it, it just, it was just a little too much soap opera-ish. Um, but really, that's just a um, minor nitpick of mine, not really even a complaint. I'm giving Raging Fire a 4 out of 5. Now, if you can find it in a theater near you, it is absolutely worth seeing. Well, that's my review for Raging Fire. I want to thank uh, Will Go USA for sending us this screener. And I want to thank you guys out there for taking the time to watch this little review video. If you've seen Raging Fire or if you do go to see it, come back to this video and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if you agree with my review. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.